And so our story begins. The kingdom is on the verge of revolution. But who will be the hero to lead the rebellion? Of course, the princess. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. has begun. But who will lead the revolution? Beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Oh, what? Go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a princess. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. 
If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Now, madam, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Master Elliot is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pajamas to meet him will send the wrong message? I heartily recommend you pick out one of these outfits for your garden rendezvous. I have a feeling Master Elliot is concerned about uh, your brother's latest actions. Uh, now, if you would choose your attire, A princess ought always to project a certain image, and right now your image is somewhat lethargic. Surely you don't intend to walk around the castle dressed as you are now. Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pajamas to meet him will send the wrong message? I heartily recommend you pick out one of these outfits for your garden rendezvous. Master Elliot is concerned about uh, your brother's latest actions. Uh, now, if you would choose your attire. Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pajamas to meet him will send the wrong message? Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pajamas to meet him will send the wrong message? A princess ought always to project a certain image, and right now your image is somewhat lethargic. recommend you pick out one of these outfits for your garden rendezvous. Surely you don't intend to walk around the castle dressed as you are now?
I heartily recommend you pick out one of these outfits for your garden rendezvous. Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pajamas to meet him will send the wrong message? I have a feeling Master Elliot is concerned about uh, your brother's latest actions. Uh, now, if you would choose your attire, Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pyjamas to meet him will send the wrong message? I heartily recommend you pick out one of these outfits for your garden rendezvous. A princess ought always to project a certain image, and right now your image is somewhat lethargic. Surely you don't intend to walk around the castle dressed as you are now. I heartily recommend you pick out one of these outfits for your garden rendezvous. I have a feeling Master Elliot is concerned about uh, your brother's latest actions. Uh, now, if you would choose your attire... Surely you don't intend to walk around the castle dressed as you are now. Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pyjamas to meet him will send the wrong message? I have a feeling Master Elliot is concerned about uh, your brother's latest actions. Uh, now, if you would choose your attire... Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pyjamas to meet him will send the wrong message? A princess ought always to project a certain image, and right now your image is somewhat lethargic. Surely you don't intend to walk around the castle dressed as you are now?
I heartily recommend you pick out one of these outfits for your garden rendezvous. It may not be the most ornate outfit, but that doesn't indicate a lack of quality. I only select the best. An exquisite answer. Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Master Elliot will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to him now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Have a good day, madam. Will do. Bye, Jasper. My princess. Princess. Hello, Princess. My lady. Salut. Oh, how are you, my Princess? My lady. Oh, fierce warrior. Are you here to join my army? Good. We shall face all our enemies together, won't we? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Then the kingdom is safe. Ah, oh, our fair princess. Your two brave knights will protect you with their lives. <laughs> I can look after myself, you know. Really? I'm afraid I'll need some proof. Perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities? I have to say that's quite satisfactory. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen. They say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their princess. So, my good princess, may I take your hand? Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something... wrong with him he's changed so much and he looks so tired all the time <laughs> I'm sure he'll want to carry on with your instruction today he seems obsessed with combat training lately ah oh, you're so lucky having a statue of your brother right outside your window it must give you nightmares come on let's go well, I heard all he did was stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Who knows where it ends? Next thing you know, it's one of us that's... Quit your gossiping now, and straighten those clothes. Welcome, Your Majesty. Such an honour to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. You've all been through some difficult times. And the king has been too... 
preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of her, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. My princess. My princess. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. Sir Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the princess here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. Bad feeling about today. I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my princess. Your support will make all the difference. I'm certain of it. I'm not even supposed to be here. I was nowhere near that car accident. That was a courageous move. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good... Fight! That's the stuff! That's it! Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your father, the great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero. <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me. What are you afraid of? Hit me. It's time you showed me what you've got. and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen, there's something... Walter, you have to come quickly, both of you. What's happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. Keep out the free! We want... It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. I have a horrible feeling about this. We can't just stand here. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. They must be in the war room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. You can see them. Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh. <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter. We can't let him kill all those people. You're his sister. Maybe he'll listen to you. 
We have to do something. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough! How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors? Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my sister and her friend to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. happens we'll get through this together keep walking here come the saviors of the people come closer sister today you have disappointed me beyond measure I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spy we did nothing wrong punishment must be apportioned where it belongs punish me then you are no longer a child and it is time I stopped treating you as one you wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this boy? The sentence will be what? death. No, this can't be. You are the princess. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. Are you listening to me? Pick me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please. <laughs> this can't be happening. It can't be. Still having trouble deciding? Let me help you. I will give you until the count of five. Choose me. They didn't do anything. It should be me. Five. Four. Three. Calm down, Kate. Two. It's gonna be okay. You'll see. One. You have to choose me. It's the only way. You know it is. No, it should be me. Don't do this. It should be me. The boy lives. Kill the rest now. Please. No. no. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my sister to her chambers. Now. You mustn't blame yourself, madam. I don't think any of us realized just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay ah. here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your father's daughter. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no time. We take nothing. Not even pajamas? Come on. We must leave now. I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. What about Elliot? I can't leave him here. Don't worry. He's safe. And he can take care of himself. There is something rather sinister about this garden at night. Where are we going? I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. It's time we paid our respects 
to Albion's last hero. I never thought I'd enter this place again. You should have known better. The night your father died, I promised him I would bring you here one day. When you were old enough. And strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero. But I'm hoping that it will have one soon. This is your father's most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them, those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. Is something supposed to happen? Teresa, the seer of the spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends, Jasper, who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum, and the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead, and one day, perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. <laughs> 